This is a financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think and see man a lot of that data. But like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. Man, they give us a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen. A M C is still being heavily manipulated. The bad actors are not gonna stop until they run out of money, until the banks start stop lending them money to make it short AMC, the carnage will continue. The everyday price means absolutely nothing. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm just telling you that they control the price with their criminality and everybody's fully aware of it. And I believe that they found a new way to get around that reporting rule and still short the stock. Okay? I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Anyway, you got allegedly 14,110,270 AMC shares that were, you know, that was the volume for yesterday. That was AMC's alleged volume for yesterday. But we all know those numbers mean absolutely nothing because we have no idea what they're doing in the dog pools. Okay? And the calls in the money, you had 8246 And at $5, you'd have an additional 39809 These numbers mean absolutely nothing to me. They serve no purpose whatsoever, in my opinion, because there will be no hedging. There will be no gamma squeeze. They will push the price up and down so they can make as much money off of call premiums. I mean, that's just what they do, Okay. They, they won't let it go in the money because they don't want to pay. I mean, it, it, it's just it's just that that simple. I mean, they control the price of AMC and they move it in any direction they want, depending on the call options that they have. OK. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Zero shares available to short since Friday. Okay? Zero shares available to short since Friday. But somehow, 51.5% of yesterday's volume was shorted shares. Now, this is the highest it's been in a year. 51.5% of the volume was shorted shares when there allegedly were no shares available to short. So where are they getting these shorted shares from to short into the market when there's none available to short? I think they figured out a way to get around the short transparency rules where they're still shorting stocks but not reporting that they, they have shares to short. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. How are there no shares available to short since Friday, yet you're sh you shorted 51.5% of the volume on Monday. How is that mathematically possible? You're claiming there's zero shares available to short. Yet, you shorted 7.3 million AMC shares. Where did they come from? SEC, DOJ, FBI. You don't think that is a question that needs to be answered? If there are zero shares available to short since Friday, and not Friday at the end of the day, Friday at, at, at noon, Friday at noon. So all day Friday, they found shares to short. All day Monday, they found shares to short when there are no shares available to short. Make that make sense. I mean, these bad actors... Don't even hide what they do. And the reason they don't is because they know there are no consequences for their criminal behavior. It is absolutely crazy to me. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. If there's zero shares available to short for two trading days, how is it that they shorted 51.5% of the volume? With zero shares available to short. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, 
Have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.